so yeah, with that, um, and again, if you could drop your uh, company uh, information into the chat log, your uh, name, email, and then company or organization that you're representing, uh, that would be great. That'll just help us kind of keep track of things um, afterwards, you know, when we go to share out the presentation to <clears throat> have that information on hand. So yeah, with that, uh, we'll get started. Um, thank you everybody for taking the time to join today. Um, I know we're getting started a little bit earlier than we normally do. Usually we kick these things off around nine or 10. So <clears throat> wanted to um, get started early and give everybody the, you know, the time to, you know, have, have, still have a full day out in the field. Um, so yeah, this is our first contractor webinar of 2022. So super belated, uh, happy new year to everybody. Um, I, many of us have already, you know, spoken already this year and, you know, sounds like things are um, pretty busy as they were at the end of 2021. So, um, you know, that's that's always good to hear. Um, but certainly, I know that there's a lot, you know, other challenges out there that we're all facing. So <clears throat> we want to be able to uh, provide, you know, any support and guidance that we can from our end to help uh, navigating these rebate programs as uh, easy as possible for for contractors. So. <clears throat> Uh, with that, um, this is today's agenda. So we are going to run through sort of the typical, um, you know, breakdown uh, of who is Bayren and go through uh, the benefits of participation. I do, I, we have some new contractors on the call, so I um, want to make sure that we're, you know, discussing sort of, uh, you know, providing some context around, you know, who the program is, uh, the rebates that are available, and um, uh, sort of... Uh, the process of becoming a participating contractor so that, so that you can start offering those rebates to your customers. Um, and uh, yeah, and then we're gonna dive into uh, program updates and reminders. Um, so, you know, we'll discuss just some of the ongoing efforts that we have uh, going on from the contractor services end, as well as some of the, uh, the program updates that some of you are already aware of, but, you know, we'll touch on some, you know, some other updates that are uh, coming down the pipeline. <clears throat> Again, if you could uh, just go ahead and mute your uh, microphone. I'm getting some feedback um, on the call here. Um, so if you're not on mute, um, if you could just go ahead and mute your microphone. Uh, thank you. That seems to be better. <clears throat> okay. So, yeah, who is Bayren? Bayren is... Uh, the it, Bayran stands for the Bay Area Regional Energy Network, and it's a collaboration of the nine uh, Bay Area counties that you see on the map to the left there, um, funded by ratepayer dollars overseen by the uh, California Public Utilities Commission. So uh, funded by more specifically PG&E ratepayer payer dollars. So uh, if the customer uh, receives PG&E gas or electric service uh, within the Bay Area and they're a, um, you know, a residential single family uh, one to four unit complex, and they would be eligible for the for the home plus um, rebates as well, <clears throat> Spe uh, specific to the fuel that they receive from PG and E. So often it requires them to have both gas and electric, but there are rebates that are eligible if they just receive electric or gas from PG and E. Um, and then there are energy efficiency programs, including single family green labeling, uh, such as like the home energy score, and then there's also uh, a Bayran multifamily uh, program as well for um, larger complexes and that sort of thing. So, yeah, so um, how to become a Home Plus uh, or becoming a Home Plus contractor. Uh, like I mentioned, uh, once you're enrolled, you can start offering up to $5,000 in rebates for each of your customers. Um, and it really is with little additional effort. Um, we try to provide all the support that we can from our end. Um, and there's also, uh, third-party services out there that sort of help uh, with the rebate submission process and any sort of um, uh, post-installation uh, testing that needs to be done. We um, there are some some resources available to help uh, help with that process. And <clears throat> so, pro program rebates are only available uh, when the work is installed by a participating contractor. So certainly, if um, if you haven't, you know, if your customers aren't asking about rebates already. Um, you might, ex you know, you might expect them to start asking about, you know, what rebates are available for their projects um, up front during like the, 
the estimates. <clears throat> um, you know, certainly with the cost of uh, you know goods and services uh, on the rise, um, you know, rebate dollars are as important now more more you know more than they have been for uh, for customers and and you know continuing to drive projects forward. Um, and you could be eligible for a five hundred dollar contract or enrollment bonus um, after you enroll into the program and then successfully can complete your first uh, rebate submission. Um, so that's just kind of to help compensate for some of the time that you spend initially going through the program uh, trainings and um, uh, filling out the, the paperwork as well. So um, once you connect with the contractor services team, uh, we can discuss that in more detail to see if you would be eligible for that enrollment bonus. So like I mentioned, there's rebates for uh, common uh, there's additional benefits such as rebates for common energy efficiency measures, even uh, single measures. So uh, many of the equipment that you are already installing may be eligible for these program incentives. So, um, you know, it's just a matter of, of getting enrolled and then um, understanding the, um, the rebate process and being able to communicate it um, upfront with your customers. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, um, there's also marketing and outreach by local governments on your behalf. So um, Bayron partners with um, different representatives from those, uh, the nine counties, and you know they have their own ongoing uh, marketing and outreach efforts. <coughs> Ooh, sorry, um, <clears throat> got a little bug in my throat. Um, <clears> throat> so, uh, you know what that means is they, they may have their own uh, website listings that uh, contractors that service their ter territories will be listed on, and um, they also do certain uh, email blasts and marketing efforts for uh, the um, homeowners in their communities. And yeah, like I mentioned, it's uh, easy to participate and we try to make it um, as simple as possible on our end, um, providing as much support and guidance as you need as you enroll into the program. Ah, sorry, I'm fighting with a little cough on my end. <clears throat> so if I do for a second, that's uh, that's, that, that's why. Um, cool, so some more benefits. Uh, like I mentioned, there's access to multiple pro uh, programs and resources, uh, such as the Bay Rent Home Plus program. Um, there's also regional incentive programs uh, that are available depending on you know the, the areas that you service, such as uh, the regional midstream program, which is a additional incentive for heat pump water heater installations. Um, and that's specific to certain counties. And uh, I do have a slide later on that will sort of outline the, the counties where that additional incentive is available. Sonoma Clean Power is another uh, regional incentive program that's available. They offer incentives for uh, heat pumps as well as heat pump water heaters. So uh, just additional incentives that can layer on top of the existing uh, bay rent incentives uh, whenever installing uh, heat pumps and heat pump water heaters in Sonoma County. They also cover Mendocino County as well. So if you're a contractor that works in Sonoma and you also cover uh, Mendocino, Mendocino is outside of uh, the bay rent rebates, but Sonoma Clean Power actually offers um, the equivalent of the bay rent rebates for Mendocino County. Uh, so that's that's interesting as well. So. Um, I know we have uh, a few contractors that sort of uh, cover, you know, both territories and, and benefit from those additional. Uh, Peninsula Clean Energy is another um, uh, CCA and their uh, territory is in San Mateo County. So uh, their rebates currently cover heat pump water heaters and they have additional incentives for uh, service panel upgrades as well, whether you're doing a main service panel upgrade or if you're you know, just uh, installing a sub panel or doing some work to the existing panel, uh, they have some incentives available for that as well. And they are planning on launching some additional incentives for heat pump HVAC as well in the near future. So uh, we'll be communicating out those details as they become available. So um, yeah, look up for that, um, but, and then 
Yeah, and then one other program that uh, many of you are familiar with is the Tech Clean California program. So they offer additional rebates for uh, heat pump water heaters, as well as uh, heat pump HVAC, service panel upgrades, and um, sort of uh, a list of some other, other additional rebates as well. Um, so being enrolled with Bayren also um, allows you access to the, uh, the Tech Clean California rebates as well. Um, and we'll, we'll we'll discuss a little bit more about how those programs are aligned in the later slide. Um, but being a, a Bay Rent contractor, like I said, it allows you access to those additional rebates. And these um, regional incentives that are listed above, they don't require uh, any additional application process. So you would just submit the uh, the Bay Rent Home Plus rebate application, and then we would flag it on our end as being eligible for these additional incentives and we forward it to those entities um, as they come in. So just to keep the, the paperwork light on your end, it's um, yeah, just a, a single application process. Here's a quick snapshot of the of how you might be able to optimize the program rebates for for a single project. So these would be the rebates that were available if you were to, you know, if you were doing attic insulation, uh, duct replacement, um, HVAC electrification, if you're swapping out a gas furnace in central AC, say with a with a central heat pump, um, that would qualify for that $1,000. Uh, combustion safety test out incentive, um, $150. HVAC bonus, that's when you're combining thermal work with a HVAC upgrade. Project would qualify for an additional Five hundred dollars uh, wall insulation, and then you can see there's a bonus for combining attic and wall insulation. So if you do those two measures simultaneously, there's an additional five hundred dollars available. And <clears throat> as you can see here, this uh, this work would pretty much max out the incentives at almost five thousand dollars. So yeah, uh, quite a bit available. Um, you know, this this really you know can make a big difference for a customer when deciding to move forward with the, with the project uh, or not. So then just some requirements for participating contractors. Uh, we do require that you have a current uh, B general contracting license or specialty, uh, C specialty contracting license. So what that usually means is um, a C20 HVAC or a C C36 plumbing license. Um, and or uh, be general or any combination of the three. Um, you do have to offer at least one measure in the program that's rebatable. So uh, currently, uh, like, like like a C10 electrician only uh, would not be able to participate as a as a contractor because there's no standalone measures that they can offer um, that can be uh, permitted and contracted with uh, with a C10 license only. So if you are a C10 contractor, we do have some other avenues to participate in the program. So um, certainly still reach out and we'll, you know, sort of discuss that with you um, at, at, at the time. So, <clears throat> and yeah, like I mentioned, again, we want you to at least serve, you know, one of the nine Bay Area counties, um, you know, when, it, uh, you know, the, the rebates are only available for the, for the nine counties, with the exception of Mendocino. Uh, if you do only serve Mendocino County, you know, reach out and then we could sort of walk you through that process as to how to access those rebates for, for Mendocino County. <clears throat> and there is some uh, minimum insurance coverage required. So um, for general, general liability, automotive and workers comp, um, uh, we just ask that you maintain the, the minimum coverage required um, throughout your program participation. All right, so next steps. Um, so yeah, participation entails uh, completing uh, the onboarding paperwork packet and online trainings. Uh, so the link here uh, you can use to um, to register in the, on the online training portal. Uh, what that'll do is if you register there, it'll put you in the pipeline for uh, our contractor services team to reach out to you. So once you register, we receive a notification that a new contractor is registered, and then we reach out and uh, discuss the program in more detail with you and answer any questions that you might have had and provide clarity around the next steps to participate. So 
Um, or you can, you know, just uh, proactively reach out to support at bayren.org and we'll um, connect that way and, you know, and talk through the enrollment process and answer any questions that you might have at that point. All right, with that, let's jump into some program reminders and updates. So uh, let's uh, start off with discussing uh, the 2022 incentive funds. So they will be available soon. Um, I know that uh, many of you have reached out about this. We've discussed this with uh, many contractors at this point, but um, as many of you know, pretty typically going from one year to the next, uh, we we do um, experience a slight delay in um, processing program incentives. So uh, we're currently experiencing that delay. So we are processing rebates uh, applications as they're being submitted uh, per usual. Um, but we you know they, we we push them as far as we can through the pipeline until they get to the uh, the, the point where they're ready to be paid out. And um, I think we're a couple weeks out from being able to uh, submit the final uh, or, or, or resume the payment batching. So we expect that to resume at the end of this month. Um, certainly appreciate uh, any, you know, the, the patience uh, everyone's had, you know, while we're, while we're experiencing that. <clears throat> but um, we do have a, a very solid uh, processing team in place. Uh, so, you know, they are, they're turning around applications, uh, very quickly. I think we're within 48 hours right now when an application is submitted, um, it's either approved or, or sent back for revision. So, um, after this, uh, initial, uh, delay, you know, things should resume back to normal and process should be, uh, pretty quick, um, from here until the end of the year. And we are doing everything, you know, that we can internally. There's small steps that we can take to minimize the delay you know, even just like one or two days. So we are, you know, doing everything that we can internally to, to minimize that. So, and if you have any, um, you know, specific customers or uh, projects that you want us to, you know, try to expedite, um, you know, reach out to us and we can, you know, see, see what we can do for, you know, for those, just to make sure that they're, you know, at the top of the list and included in that uh, first payment batch when that resumes at the, at the end of this year. All right, so yeah, with that, sort of like along the same lines of rebate dollars, I uh, just wanted to touch on some on bail financing options that are um, available, currently available and or coming down the, the line for um, some specific Bay Area counties. <clears throat> so one of those is Sonoma Clean Power. So again, they uh, their territory is uh, Sonoma and also Mendocino County. And they have been offering on bail financing for up to $10,000 for their customers. So what that looks like is the customer is able to um, take out a 0% interest loan for up to $10,000 to finance their energy efficiency upgrade. And it's paid back through their monthly utility bills. So um, it's a little, it's, it's more, it's easier access to no interest finance, uh, financing. Um, so it really, you know, I think we've, um, you know, really, can help eliminate cost barriers for homeowners and and drive more projects forward. So, if you um, if you're working in Sonoma, if you're already participating, you know, reach out. We could connect you with the with the Sonoma Clean Power team that administers that on bill financing program, and they can deliver you know some more specifics around it for you and, and get you set up with it. Uh, similarly, uh, Peninsula Clean Energy again they cover. Uh, San Mateo County. They also cover the city of Los Banos, which is outside of Bay Ren, but um, they, you know, they they would be eligible for you know their this offering as well. They're gearing up to launch a, a similar to, uh, to Sonoma Clean Power, where it'll be a, a ten thousand uh, dollar loan that they could finance through their utility bills at zero percent interest. Um, they just have you know some different specifics around what's eligible and, and that sort of thing. But uh, that's like I said, that's coming down the line. We did have a we did have a webinar uh, where the the Peninsula Clean Energy team uh, outlined the specifics of the program and 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 um, we did share that out with uh, any of our participating contractors that service that territory. But um, 
you know, if you'd like a copy of that or, you know, you're a newer contractor and want to learn more about it, uh, reach out to our contractor services team and we could, we could share out the link to that presentation for you. All right, so we did, uh, we sent out a contractor newsletter last week or the week before that touched on this update. Um, but, uh, so this has been coming uh, down the pipeline for, for quite some time now, but officially Clean Power SF has uh, they have joined the list of uh, CCAs that qualify for the regional midstream heat pump water heater incentive. So uh, this was the, this, this is the program in uh, East Bay Community Energy or Marin, uh, Marin Clean Energy Territory, where it's a additional thousand dollars that's paid directly to the contractor um, for heat pump water heater installations. So um, now if you are installing heat pump water heaters in San Francisco um, and you weren't previously participating uh, in the East Bay or Marin uh, program, reach out to support and we can give you more information on that and help you get enrolled so you can start um, uh, factoring that incentive into your projects. So I figured this was a good time to <clears throat> draw attention back to our rebate application process and how we notify or how we indicate when a, a, a project is eligible for an additional incentive. So uh, many of you are familiar with this, but when you go in to submit a, uh, an application for rebate, uh, this question is always required. And it asks, is the customer part of a CCA and, uh, and eligible for an additional rebates. Um, if you click no, then um, it's not gonna flag on our radar to um, to send to either uh, Clean Power SF or EBCE or MCE or PCE or SCP uh, for the additional incentive. So it's really crucial that this is accurately um, noted. So, uh, and, and, and the way that you would indicate, you know, confirm that they're part of a CCA is if you um, collect their PG&E bill, um, it'll, you know, it'll let you know if they're part of a CCA and which CCA they're a part of. So, uh, you know, if, if, if we're applying for that rebate, we'll want to note that, yes, they're, they're part of a CCA. And then uh, this dropdown will either list SCP, PCE, or other. So if it's not PCE or SCP, you would click other, and then you would fill in the other CCA uh, below here. So in this instance, it would be Clean Power SF. It could be EBCE, it could be MCE. Um, but yeah, this is where you would note it. And then we run a weekly report that shows, you know, the projects that came in that were eligible for this additional incentive and uh, we forward them out. Uh, weekly from there. So really important to make sure that we're capturing this accurately. Um, we do have a process in place where, <clears throat> you know, if it's like a fail safe, like if you, you know, if you don't indicate it and then, you know, we still kind of double check to see, oh, well, that was in Sonoma. Um, you know, we may reach out to the contractor and just say, hey, it looks like this one came in from Sonoma. You indicated that they were not part of a CCA. You just want to confirm that. And Sometimes, you know, the contractor will say, oh, yeah, oops, right, I forgot to note it, or, oh, no, no they are, in fact, uh, not eligible for that, and, and we just confirm it. Uh, this is the uh, same screenshot, but also just kind of gives another scenario where you could also indicate if the project is eligible for tech in this same, uh, in this same space. So often... Uh, I, I, unless the project is, is, unless the original water heater was propane, which we don't have many of in the Bay Area, um, all heat pump water heater electrification projects that qualify for Bay Ren Home Plus should also qualify for tech. Um, in order to qualify for tech, you would need to be enrolled as a tech participating contractor. So, um, but, uh, so not super crucial here, but you could just, uh, you know, if you really want to, you know, play it safe and just call out that the project is eligible for multiple incentives, uh, you could write like, 
here you could fill out clean power sf slash tech and then when we forward this project when we run that weekly report we'll say okay this project is eligible for cp uh, for clean power sf the regional midstream program we forwarded uh, that portion to them and also tech will forward that portion to them again we have a fail safe process in place where if this is not if this is not filled out accurately we still can um capture it and and reach out if needed to to confirm you know if there's any additional rebates that should have been included in it but uh and you can also reach out to us that you know if you submitted a project and feel like you may have um missed that question or or not filled it out correctly you know reach out to our contractor services team will look into it and we could sometimes adjust things on our end if needed after it's already been submitted So uh, yeah, so just a quick um, paperwork, uh, updated paperwork reminder. Uh, thanks to everybody who did uh, submit your updated contractor participation agreement and insurance certificates uh, by the March 1st deadline. Uh, we're still working through um, some of those. So uh, we'll, reach out, we'll reach out to you if, if anything else is needed, or if you don't hear from us, then um, you, know, you can assume that everything that was submitted is, uh, is okay. Um, but we'll try to send like a confirmation email saying, so, yep, got it, looks good. Um, but uh, just know we'll, we'll reach out at this point if anything's, uh, if anything else is needed. Um, and also along with that, uh, we do um, any application that's submitted uh, from this point forward or from March 1st forward rather, uh, does need to be on a 2022 day rent application. So we were accepting 2021 applications up until March 1st, just to sort of um, uh, compensate for projects that completed in 2021 and the paperwork was signed in 2021, but uh, maybe, you know, because of some uh, yeah, some variable or some delay, you know, wasn't submitted until um, January or February, you know, we, instead of having to collect a new application form from the homeowner, we were accepting uh, the 2021 version. But at this point, we'll need the 2022 form. So, uh, at the top of the screen, that's just a snapshot of what the top of the application form looks like, um, which many of you are familiar with. So just uh, be sure that uh, anything submitted, you know, from here on out is on a 2022 application. If you have any that are on a 2021 application at this point that are, you know, still were completed in 2021, reach out to us. I mean, we still have some uh, exceptions that can be made instead of having to track down a new a signature from the homeowner, you know, we might be able to make an exception. So reach out to us to, to review those cases. Um, <clears throat> and also uh, at this point, we are, we are now requiring uh, the contractor's original invoice showing that the project was paid in full um, to be included with the project documents. So um, I know that there's been a lot, some questions around that, but uh, you know, pretty, what that means is uh, we'll need the, and, 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 and this is because, you know, we are, processing applications for, you know, multiple programs at this point. Um, these programs have, you know, sometimes additional requirements or, or invoicing requirements, certain things they need to see uh, noted on the invoice. So uh, now more than ever, it's, it's important for us to collect that as we're forwarding these projects to, to these additional uh, associations and rebate programs. Um, so you can still use the Bayren sample invoice template um, that, sort of breaks things down in a way that our processing team needs to see it. They need to see each um, each rebate measure that's being applied for. They need to see itemized on the invoice with the model number, with the cost. And we know that not all you know, contractors invoices itemize things in such a way. So instead of adjusting your you know, internal process, uh, you know, you can just submit the invoice that you, you know, you know, that that you're using and then uh, supplement it with the uh, with the with the sample invoice, and our processing team will, you know, check that both are there, and then process based on, you know, the, the sample invoice at that point. But they'll want to confirm that the original invoice is included. So yeah, uh, we are, um, uh, one thing that we're really excited about this year is we're um, gonna be 
developing and launching a new uh, rebate portal for, for Bayrun. So um, we're uh, looking forward to the opportunity to improve on some of the limitations of our current system. Um, you know, we're very aware of a lot of the challenges, uh, you know, that our, our current system presents. And um, we want to hear from, from you all as the contractors and the raiders who are using this uh, portal on a daily basis. Um, so we're going to be sending out a, a survey in the next couple of weeks to just uh, gather feedback in general, you know, things that you would um, like to see considered uh, as this new rebate portal is being developed, you know, certain things that your challenges that you're facing, um, you know, if there's, you know, things that would make your lives easier, we want to hear about it. And then, like I said, we're going to be um, developing uh, and launching the portal. So it's not too late to, you know, still um, provide input to the development team as they, as they put that together. So one thing that we're really excited about this year too, is um, uh, we're um, putting together and planning a BPI training and certification class for this fall. Um, so what that'll mean is it'll, it'll give the opportunity for contractors to um, either recertify uh, their current BPI, uh, renew their current BPI certification or become certified for the first time. Um, so, we're going to be sending out a survey just to gather some interest to see who would be interested in, you know, in that type of offering, just so we could, you know, narrow that list down and 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 and, and use that, um, you know, for planning purposes when putting the budget together for for that type of stuff. So, uh, but this is this is exciting. The the BPI uh, certificate is required, as many of you know, for conducting the Bayren um, uh, combustion safety tests. So, uh, and this will also be offered to uh, to raiders as well. So, if there's you know, raiders are are, are usually are oftentimes uh, the ones conducting this test. So, um, but this will give the ability for contractors to pick up the certification in house and you know start to do their their own combustion safety testing if, if that's uh, if that's if that's of interest. So, like I said, look out for the survey that should be going out uh, this week actually. So, um, check your inbox and yeah, you'll. Uh, be sure to respond and fill it out if, if you would be interested. Alrighty, so uh, we're gonna jump into tech. So I got a few slides here just to um, hopefully provide some clarity around uh, the tech program and how it's aligned with the Bayren program. Um, in terms of uh, applications and rebate eligibility and that sort of thing. I know there's been uh, some confusion around this, so hopefully, you know, taking the opportunity here to level set and let everybody know exactly where we stand with the tech program and, and, and how it's aligned. So, <clears throat> so as many of you know, uh, Tech Clean California has partnered with uh, Bayron Home Plus and they're offering additional incentives for heat pump water heaters. They have additional incentives for heat pump HVAC as well, which we'll talk about in just a couple of slides. But um, for our purposes, uh, the, uh, the heat pump water heaters uh, incentives that are eligible through tech are directly aligned with the Bayren application process. So when you submit for a heat pump water heater application through Bayren, um, it's also that that also captures the the tech application as well, as long as you're a tech participating contractor. So when we receive an application uh, from a contractor, we verify okay, uh, it's a heat pump water heater. It uh, installed in the Bay Area, obviously, and uh, the contractor is a tech participating contractor. We check all those boxes. We forward it to the tech program for processing. So. Um, if you have any questions related to uh, tech in general, or um, you're not already participating, here is the email that you would reach out to to uh, to get enrolled. Uh, and here is their uh, contractor support number as well. So, again, this presentation will go out afterwards, so you'll have that uh, you'll have that on hand. But.
So here's a uh, here's a table that gives a breakdown of the current uh, eligible incentives uh, through Tech and Bayren. So as you can see, there uh, there's some different incentives that are available depending on you know the unit that's being installed. Um, <clears throat> but for uh, for natural gas to heat pump water heater, uh, depending on the size of the system, um, there's up to thirty one hundred dollars or thirty eight hundred dollars available. Um, so I believe the next slide is going to break down like a sample project to show sort of where that funding is coming from. But um, so what that means is $3,100 is the total incentive amount that's available. That includes the tech amount plus any uh, local incentives that are available. Uh, so again, the, the next slide will break this down. We'll talk a little bit more about it. But um, it's you know depending on the size of the new system if it's less than 55 gallons it's 3100 total available if it's greater than 55 gallons it's 3800 total available um and then if it's uh electric resistance then it's 1500 total available so if it's an electric resistance water heater going through a heat pump water heater uh, they ran has a one thousand dollar incentive tech would pay 500 to top this off to 1500. <clears throat> And tech also has a panel upgrade incentive available for heat pump water heaters only. So if there's a heat pump water heater that's being installed and a main service panel needs to be upgraded or a sub panel needs to be installed, or if there's some circuitry work that needs to be done, there's up to $2,800 available for that portion of the work as well. So, um, like I mentioned, they're applied for through the standard they ran rebate portal, um, and you can note the uh, the CCA, even though tech is not technically a CCA, that's still a good place to capture, um, you know, that the project is being applied for it, like, at, you know, at, for, for the tech incentives as well. But like I mentioned, we do, we you know, we we check the boxes. We see, okay, heat pump water heater, uh, 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 Bay Area County, and then uh, tech participating contractor, great, we forward it to tech even if that's not filled out on that CCA question. But again, just a um, just a place where you can sort of really uh, call out that there's an additional incentive available. So here is that uh, sample project that shows the incentives that are available for a heat pump water heater project in the Bay Area. So this one lists a 80 gallon unit. So let's assume that we're installing a, uh, this that this project would only be for a uh, heat pump water heater, swapping a gas heat pump water heater to a 80 gallon, or swapping, swapping a gas water heater to a um, heat pump water heater, 80 gallon unit. This is an example of the incentives that are available uh, just for that measure alone. Um, there, so there's a thousand dollars from Home Plus uh, there is a combustion safety test out, which is available through Home, Home Plus. That's uh, if there is any gas appliances left in the house at the completion of that project, um, that would trigger a combustion safety test. And there's $150 available. There's also $1,000 available through the regional uh, midstream water heater program. So, um, uh, that's the uh, that's the program that has just uh, included Clean Power SF that we mentioned earlier, but um, East Bay Community Energy, Marin Clean Energy. Um, there's a, an additional thousand dollar incentives available for that project when the customer is enrolled with one of those CCAs. And then at this point, Tech would be topping this rebate off to thirty eight hundred because there's a thousand available through Bayran. There's a thousand available through the midstream. So to bring that up to thirty eight hundred. Uh, tech will come in with eighteen hundred dollars, <throat> and um, assuming that there is a, a panel upgrade that needs to be, uh, or the panel needs to be upgraded as part of the project, then there, uh, and you know, say it costs five thousand uh, dollars, tech will pay up to twenty eight hundred. So you know, they would get the full twenty eight hundred in this instance, and you can see the total available rebate would be six thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars for one pump water heater which often is um, the, the entire cost of the installation. So uh, that was sort of the idea uh, that tech is going for is they wanna be able to make these projects 
as affordable as possible, um, and at the very least make them as affordable as if a customer was going to be going from a gas water heater to a gas water heater. They want the uh, cost at the end of the line to be similar if they were going, you know, going from a gas water heater to a heat pump water heater. So the expectation that tech has, uh, well, these incentive, the tech incentives are paid directly to the contractor and the contractors are required to offer these incentives as an instant discount to the customer on the customer's invoice. So in this instance, if there's 18 and, you know, whatever this 30, 40 something <laughs> mental math, uh, this, the expectation would be the, uh, the, the, the tech amount is deducted from the customer's invoice. So, um, again, that's another reason why we're collecting contractor invoices because we're forwarding these projects over to tech. Um, they're going to need to see that that incentive was deducted from the customer's cost on the invoice. So. Uh, just important to uh, to call that out. So I mentioned earlier that the tech uh, heat pump HVAC incentives are currently separate from the Bayer and Home Plus incentives. So uh, they need to be applied. So the the eligibility requirements. Are different. Uh, the application process is separate. Um, so you'll need to connect with tech directly if you have any heat pump projects that are in the pipeline or that you have questions on, um, because we are in the process of aligning the application process and the eligibility requirements with tech. Um, but we're still about two to three months out on that from being finalized. Um, you know, it's multiple entities legal teams that need to review documents and contracts. So uh, that's in the process. Uh, we do expect that, you know, we, we don't expect any um, any hiccups in that process. Like it's, you know, it will be finalized, but um, we are about two to three months out from that happening. So for any, pro you know, for, for right now, any estimates that you're doing, any projects that you have in the pipeline, uh, questions on the tech incentive eligibility and, and what's available, You'll need to reach out to tech directly on. Um, you should have, I believe, you know, each tech contractor has their own account manager um, with the tech team. So reach out to your account manager. They could provide clarity around the incentives that are available uh, for Bay Rent Home Plus. The it's the thousand dollar heat pump incentive. It's it's the same as it's always been uh, for now. But um, there may be some situations where. The how you know the, the project qualifies for tech and bay rent. So great, there's three thousand dollars available through tech, and there's a thousand dollars available through bay rent, four thousand dollars total. But like I said, um, not every tech project is going to qualify for bay rent, vice versa, and uh, the application process is, process is separate. So um, yeah, just wanted to uh, call that out. Um, because we've had some confusion around that and the rollout of the tech program in general. So uh, again, I mean, you could reach out to us if you have questions about what rebates are available, and yeah, um, you know, we ultimately will will steer you back to tech to to you know answer some specific questions. But we could provide an outline, you know, general overview and outline of you know what's of, of our understanding of what's available. But um, you'll want to get um, final confirmation from from the tech team, and then once. Uh, Tech and Bayren are completely aligned in two to three months. Uh, we will probably have another webinar where we'll discuss the specifics of that and um, what the application process looks like, what to, you know, how to apply for it, what's eligible, just to um, provide as much clarity as we can around it so you can start uh, communicating those rebates to customers and avoid, you know, any confusion with the initial launch of that. So. So yeah, with that, I believe, um, yeah, and like I mentioned, we'll be announcing more details as they become available. So uh, via newsletter, email blasts, and uh, ultimately we'll have another webinar to discuss uh, what that looks like. And we'll invite the tech team in to sort of present uh, their end of it, just to uh, really help eliminate any confusion and keep communication consistent between the tech team 
uh, and the Bayron team. So, yeah, with that, uh, I think we got about 10 minutes or so. So, um, we're going to open it up to Q and A. Uh, I don't know if Tony is on the call. He usually moderates the chat for me. <clears throat> so, Tony, if you're out there, um, let me know, but I see that there's a number of questions in the chat. I could start to go through them too, um, if you're not. So let me scroll through. And again, like if you have any questions, you could unmute yourself and, and feel free to ask them at this time. Um, just try not to talk over everyone at once. So, okay, um, does attic insulation still require air sealing? It's a question from Matt. Yeah, great question, Matt. Um, it does. I mean, we want to see, at the very least, uh, we want to see uh, the main moisture penetrations in an attic being addressed. So, you know, gable end walls, uh, wet wall, uh, bath fans, uh, chimney chases, uh, because, I mean, that's really going to, um, I mean, the, the effective R value of the insulation relies on, on an effective air barrier being aligned with the thermal barrier. So, um, you know, it doesn't have to be, um, it doesn't have to be uh, really, like you don't have to, we don't expect you to uh, cap all of the recessed lights. We understand that that would be like an add-on for the customer that you would be charging the customer an additional amount for that. And that the customer would have an option if they wanna, move forward with like top hats on the recess lights or not. But um, we do expect that there's, you know, the, the main moisture penetrations are being addressed as part of the, um, as part of the, uh, the, the attic insulation. Uh, <clears throat> I see Jim Apperson, are the bonuses available for Mendocino customers? So they, that's uh, that's actually a great question, Jim. Um, so the bonuses are typically related to um, heat pump uh, combining either attic and wall insulation work. There's a $500 bonus available, or combining an HVAC upgrade with thermal work. There's an there's an additional bonus available. Uh, Mendocino uh, Sonoma Clean Power. Uh, to my knowledge, they don't have any rebates for um, for thermal work for any attic insulation. So I don't believe there would be an instance where you'd be able to combine um, a Bay Rent incentive with a Sonoma Clean Power incentive that would result in a bonus, like um, because Sonoma Clean Power doesn't offer attic or wall insulation rebates, then um, they would not be eligible for those additional bonus incentives. That's a good question, though. <clears throat> Jim's always got the good questions. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Let's see. Alicia, air quality, it's a very easy application process for tech. It's good to hear. I understand that it is pretty simple. They do have a um, a rebate portal that I've I've seen it like at a high level and yeah, it does seem to be pretty user friendly. So, I mean, we're, we'll we we can take the opportunity as you know from the Bayren team. We'll we'll be reaching out to like our our network um, that we work with and sort of gathering feedback on because we're going to be launching our rebate portal later this year. So, we may reach out to the tech team and ask for you know just some feedback that they've gotten and what's working for them, what's not working for them as they're launching a new rebate portal. So, um, good to hear that it's easy. Uh, on that end. So yeah, we'll try to, you know, make it as easy as possible on the day right end as well. Uh, Jim, another question, can the rebates be on the same application as installation, et cetera? Um, so uh, I'm assuming like this might be in, rela in relating to tech in the, can the heat pump and the heat pump water heater be on the same application? Yeah, I'm not uh, super clear on the, on the question, Jim, but um, 
if you want to shoot me an email, um, you know, we could, we could, we could, we could dive into it to see what, uh, you know, what the, what the specific, um, question is there. So, uh, and then Hillary with regards to BPI training, when will the info be sent out on this costs, dates, et cetera. So, um, yeah, like I said, we're going to send out a survey this week that will, um, that's just going to be gathering interest. Just, you know, basically if you, would you be interested in, you know, in this type of offering and, uh, there'll be some layered questions that come along with it, but, um, you know, so look out for that. That's the first step that'll kind of help us plan from like a, a budgeting perspective. Um, it's just, you know, to, to see how, how large of a class, you know, it's going to be. And, you know, if we have to break it out over multiple sessions and, and that sort of thing. Um, as far as costs, like, uh, so this would be, th this is the beauty of it. This would be something that is, uh, would be no cost, uh, to the contractors. This would be offered, you know, through Bayren, um, you know, as a, as an offering for participating contractors. So, um, so yeah, that's, what, that's why we need to see, you know, what the interest level and how many people we would be bringing into this. So we could sort of plan for, uh, for the cost on that and, and the dates, you know, whether or not we need to have multiple sessions or not. So, um, so yeah. <clears throat> okay. It looks like Jim, uh, provided a little bit of clarity. If the checks are going to a different person, can they be on the same Bay rent app? That's something. So currently, no, like if, if the, if the, if the rebate is going to be split between, um, you know, either the contractor and the customer, which I know, Jim, you work in Sonoma Clean Power, they have a, uh, their on bail financing program, which, you know, they have certain expectations where the rebates are paid to the contractor. And uh, if that amount is being, you know, whatever is being financed, um, you know, that rebate needs to go to the contractor and the other amount goes to the homeowner. Um, currently, they do have to be separate applications. Um, but that's something that we want to consider in developing the new rebate portal. We want to, um, uh, we, we want to be able to offer more custom ability and, and be able to split payments within the same project where it's like, okay, this measure goes to the customer. This one goes to the contractor. So yeah, that's something that we're aware of and, and we want to be able to solve for it with the, with the new portal. So, um, yeah, yeah. Great. Great question there. Uh, let me know if you have any um, follow up questions to that. Also, like one big challenge with our current rebate portal is, yeah, as many of you know, once you submit a project, um, if you forget to, you know, if, if you forget, if you forgot to include a measure, um, or if uh, you, you you accidentally included a measure that wasn't eligible. Um, instead of being able to just remove the measure and edit the application, you actually have to scrap it and submit a new application. So, that, I mean, that's, uh, I know that that can, you know, that's, that's time consuming. You have to re-upload all the documents and, and answer all the questions again. And, you know, often that entails you bringing up the, all the, you know, multiple screens, uh, multiple times uh, on the same project. So, uh, that's something that we really. Uh, want to solve for with the new rebate portal as well. So, uh, Jessica, I can see you um, submitted a question to me privately here. I'll uh, I'll I'll go ahead and follow up uh, with you. If you could make sure uh, your email is listed in the chat. Um, what I can do is uh, I could reach out to you via email and provide. Uh, provide the answers that you're looking for and the documentation that you're requesting here. I can put it all into an e in an email for you. So, um, and yeah, just a reminder again, if everybody can go ahead and if you haven't done so already, drop your name, email, and company into the chat. That'll just help us uh, keep, you know, keep track of things and keep things organized. So, appreciate that. <clears throat> But yeah, that, so that's all the questions I had in the chat. Um, if you have any, you know, additional questions, like I said, feel free, unmute yourself, ask the way. Um, and uh, yeah, or, or drop uh, or drop the question to the chat. Um, 
I can see Amanda. Okay, cool. Thanks, Amanda. I got your info. Great. Cool. So yeah, I mean, um, that's all we have for for content. So if you don't have any questions, feel free to feel free to drop off and, and uh, get back to uh, get back to the day. But um, I'm going to hang out for a few more minutes as people log off. And yeah, if any question, you know, if you still have any questions, I'll be here. Um, yeah, feel free to feel free to send a chat or uh, or just go ahead and and ask away. But um, thanks again, everybody, for joining. I know, uh, like I said, everybody is really busy, and that's what I've been hearing across the board. So really appreciate everybody taking the time today to to join in. I know that every uh, every hour, every minute of the day is uh, is valuable. So uh, thanks for uh, thanks for spending the morning with us today. <laughs>